I'm here with Jack Ben Driver, uh, Pima County Wastewater, here at the Broughton Road uh, Treatment Plant. Uh, he's going to show us today how to calibrate and how they take the dissolved oxygen reading to the plant. Okay? How did you do that? Uh, to calibrate, we're using 100% uh, uh, water saturated air, uh, and that's done by a, a, a sponge in the tip of this, uh, providing our moisture. And before start here, uh, automatically records our temperature and our pressure. And uh, then after this is all stabilized, I can record all that information and be ready to take our sample. So your instrument takes into effect the barometric pressure and the temperature, which are critical for the dissolved oxygen. Uh, it's usually critical. That's what dissolved oxygen is based on, is temperature and pressure. And uh, this meter takes in both into account. Uh, so I don't have to do any uh, external uh, manipulation of the number. What I did is my number. Okay. So, is it stable now? Uh, we are ready. Okay. Do you want to show how you take this out? Sure. So I'll just push the measure button and uh, immerse it into my trough and pretty much wait for it to stabilize. After it stabilizes, I can scroll through the feature here and uh, get the temperature and the pressure, and that will also be recorded on the camera. Okay. And this method requires that you take duplicates. Uh, how often do you do those? Uh, we do get once once a week, uh, typically on Wednesdays. And uh, after this stabilizes, I uh, pull it out, and uh, I don't need to recalibrate it. I just need to hit the re uh, measure button again, and I'll get another number. That'll be my duplicate. And uh, those usually agree within 0.1 milligrams per liter. Okay. And so is it ready? Uh, we are just about there. And so I see you have your records here too. Um, you record your records immediately? Immediately. I stabilized them, so I record my record 4.52 milligrams per liter at 29.5 degrees Celsius. And if I want to know the saturation, is 706.3 millimeters per liter. Okay. And take my duplicate. I'm ready to do that, get back to the milligrams per meter load, hit the measure button again, and move right back into my sample. Okay. Well, thank you, Jack, for showing us that today. Thank you.